the grooves on the back is the the uh, fascia, what I'm going to use for fascia boards. Okay. And it's a little bit thinner, probably about almost a quarter of an inch than the actual surface boards. This is the Trex Transcend style of composite decking boards. I'll be uh, putting the picture frame together. The perimeter of the deck is where I'll start. Basically, I want to put the perimeter of it, the picture frame together, so that I've established my layout and I can decide um, if I have to cut one piece of Trex narrow, because things tighten up across the width, that I could put that up against the wall of the house, closest to the house, so that you've got full boards all towards the outside. But my math should be correct so that I don't have to trim one down, but even with um, uh, the consistency of, of the uh, hidden fast spacers, sometimes things can grow and move a little bit and you might have to trim a little off of a board. So it's always nicest to have the trimmed one pushed up against the house so it's, it's hidden in essence. What do each of these boards cost? About 60 bucks a piece. Wow. 60 bucks a piece. Completely finished though and you never have to seal them again. Yep, you don't have to worry about it. Put them down and you're done. You can wash them with a, a pressure washer. The first generation Trex was this composite finish on both sides and then they dyed it. So it was colored and, um, and it was a pressed composite. And over time, the sun would erode that stuff um, and it would start to flake off and delaminate. And then if you pressure washed it, it would just tear it up. But the newer generations of Trex have a PVC veneer on the top of it that's about, eh, about a sixteenth of an inch thick. So it's uh, pretty much impervious to um, sun damage and you can pressure wash this stuff happily without any consequences. So as uh, the wet season rolls in and dirt settles on it in springtime when it's all dirty looking, you just go over and spray it off with the hose and you got a brand new deck again. Fantastic. The picture frame border gets attached with these screws that literally melt the PVC cladding. The leading edge of the outside picture frame establishes where the boards go in the deck. Sweet. I'm going to picture frame this in and I've got about a half inch difference from this side to this side to be parallel and then about three eighths of an inch difference this way. So I'm going to compensate by trimming my picture frame so I'll have the, the cut edge in here facing the the tile edge of the picture frame and, and I'll be able to adjust it so that um, the rest of the decks everything squares out and it'd be difficult to notice. <laughs> Didn't know I was there did you? I had a feeling. I, I oh. thought I heard something. <laughs> oh the picture frame is coming along looking good. Some adjustments have to be made for tile work I did on the porch. The concrete porch itself is a little bit out of square to the house. You won't even know. The grout matches it very well too. It does. That's a really good color combination. And the dark tones in the tile itself blends yeah. really well with the, and the spiced rum. And then I think it's, you know, same with some of those same tones are going to blend really well with the Vanna Gold too. So I think that'll look pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that came out real nice. This goes back to the lighter tent again. And that's why when you do this stuff, you want to make sure that you peel through the pack so that you don't put all the lightest sections together. You want to stagger everything and mix it together. Well, I'll cut a four foot length off of 12 footers, which give me a four footer, eight footer, and a 12 footer. And then that's how I'll start my stagger pattern. And then I'll make sure that I utilize these, these tones to transition all together throughout the deck so that it looks, so that you don't have 
you know, start with light pieces in one spot, then dark pieces, and then light pieces. You want to blend that stuff together. It looks natural rather than just thrown together. Yeah. But anyway, there should be two colors here. The darker for the picture frame and the lighter for the main decking. And they, it does look like three colors, but when you go to the other end, you see that there's a variation that perhaps they're just flipped around and will yep. be the same. A variance in shade half of the stack is um, a little bit darker toned. And then half of the stack is uh, this lighter tone. So I'm laying it out here to look and see what it looks like if we're staggering it through. Makes it a lot more work to split the stuff up when yeah. you know it, it comes to. Because well, now I've got to bring it over here, kind of lay it out, pattern it out, get a pattern figure, then take it back over there and cut it. And, you know, a pattern without a pattern. It's got to be... Yeah, it's like a puzzle. It's like a yeah, jigsaw puzzle. You're trying to make it look, make sense. Yeah, yep. It's got to be random, hmm. but not random. It's a lot like doing rock work. There is some variation in the Harvest Gold color. Some of them are darker, more of a copper or, I don't know, coffee color. And others are quite a bit lighter. And the sample is more towards the lighter side. But it's in between. <laughs> it's fine. It's right so, in the middle. This, the uh, strategy here by Chris is to alternate the darker ones with the lighter ones as if they were naturally part of a group of boards that are cut that oftentimes are a different color. Six more dark ones than light ones in the pile. Actually, it's like two different colors of product in the same package as one product, Harvest Gold. It kind of spoils the whole effect of the deck design using the darker color as the picture frame around the outside. Now these stacks of boards were wrapped in the same package marked Harvest Gold, yet they don't even look like the same boards. And some were so filthy we had to wash them off with soap just to even tell what color they were supposed to be. That's unacceptable. Oh yeah, that's pretty remarkable from here, yeah. Those two on the end here are labeled as the same product, Havana Gold, but there is a huge difference in the color. So, we've decided to reject the inconsistent coloration of the Harvest Gold Trex Transcend decking. At the very least, we want consistent colors so that the design looks the way we had envisioned and the way that we had purchased using a sample piece.